once we create the library which is uh, library we are going to only create which is essential for our circuit so i'm going to open the page here using that particular library so if you want it you can choose all here and then click off one okay so here also in this library you can choose all so all components you can see here and if you want particular library and click on the particular library section only three components will be up i'm going to add a header first and click it here double click on the register place wherever you want it and then capacitor wherever you want it so right click and mode so you got three components one register capacitor and header and place i for the zoom in so the next component next uh, so if you want to move the move the component so always click at the center of the component so that entire component will be selected so what happens when you when you click on only the name the only name you can move it so it is not good and the header you can only move the value that is also not uh, good so always if you want to move the entire part either you select using the mouse or select button or you click exactly center so entire component will be selected like this then you can drag using the mouse button so here also in the register say so when i click on the center side center of the component so entire component will be selected using the dotted lines and you can move the component wherever you want it here is the second capacitor also so if you want to rotate it so first select the component press r from the keyboard so it will be rotated same way to that the connector also remember that component should be selected so select so click on center side of the component and you can rotate the component so this is how you are going to rotate it and arrange the circuit so i'm going to rotate this one to upside so so if you want to on the line grid so you can go to options here go to preferences in the grid display make it line and then click it okay so line you can see so always remember that the box this box that means that is the intersection of the pin intersection of the pin always should be aligned to the junction of the grid find it it should be always aligned to the junction of the grid so make sure that if you uh, if your snap to grid is off so you can move wherever you want it so this is not the right option here you can see the j1 here so this is not aligned to the junction of the grid the always uh, the pin uh, intersection should be aligned to the junction of the grid otherwise we will not be able to route or uh, wire it properly so remember so this option so make snap to grid off and just drag the component so it will be aligned to uh, the junction of the grid so using this we are going to connect so you can rearrange uh, names and values wherever you want by dragging it so always dragging is also using the snap to grid option click on the snap to grid so we can move wherever you want smoothly so otherwise what happens if the snap to grid is off so it will only move towards the grids it will only follow the grid section so i'll click it i'll place it here the capacitor i'm going to rotate the capacitor just taking one small circuit 